What took the Browns or the uh, Odell, room, uh, Odell Beckham rumors to... It's 12 games. Wouldn't you think if they're going to start, they'd start at about three? Yeah, um, or maybe a, a few days after the Jets game when he, uh, he had a lot of fun at the expense of uh, the terrible Jets. But it doesn't surprise me if those rumors are true or the speculation about him wanting out. Uh, he's frustrated. I'm sure the Browns, to a degree, are frustrated with him, or at least Mayfield is. Otherwise, uh, don't you think Mayfield would be throwing the ball uh, a lot in Beckham's direction if Mayfield had confidence in him at every turn? Um, I wonder if John Dorsey wants to hit the reset button with this entire franchise in 2020 and basically say, I'm giving you guys all an opportunity uh, to come back next year and do it right this time. Right, instead of saying, here's the problem, let's get rid of it. Right, and, and that would mean including Kitchens. Does he want to give Kitchens a mulligan? Does he want to give Beckham a mulligan? Uh, does he want to give Baker uh, a mulligan for a uneven 2019? All right, Granted, me... playing better now, but still number one overall pick, numbers in the bottom ten in the league. And you're suggesting that you redo it, just, just roll it back and start over again. I would... I'd rather do that than pick and choose where I'm going to change the team and change the franchise around. Because I, all of us who were, I don't want to say fooled, but we bought into the, the hype. Um, I'm not, and me too. Uh, I'm not Super Bowl hype, I, yeah. but I certainly thought they'd be 10 and 6 and make the playoffs. But I, st I don't want to give up the fact that, that, I was, that you and I and others like us were totally wrong. Because I don't think we were. You know I what? think everything's fixable. Well, but John Dorsey's going to have to decide, is Freddie Kitchens the man for this job? Is it simply a matter of Kitchens having a, a bad rookie season, going through growing pains, and suddenly he's going to come out of it and be fine in, in year two? Or does John Dorsey look at this and go, you know what, it's, so, it's been so dysfunctional and so underachieving this year that I've got to make a change uh, on the head coach. But I'll say this, Les, about the Browns. To me, and I was talking about this pre-show meeting with John and, and some others, Demarius Randall is the epitome of what is wrong with the Cleveland Browns in 2019. You have a, very, a quality player heading into the biggest game of the season. Oh, by the way, at Pittsburgh. Right. Veteran guy. Does something, a veteran guy, does something bad enough to get suspended for a game, benched, not even allowed to come with the Browns to Pittsburgh. We don't know exactly what it is. Speculation is he didn't want to practice or what have you. That doesn't sound like that's all it could be. Okay, but regardless of what it is, it was bad enough that all sides are pretty much admitting it was bad enough, and nobody is like behind the scenes, off the record, coming to Demarius Randall's defense. Oh, he got jammed. He never should have been suspended. Right. I'm not hearing that, are you? No. So if a veteran like that is that it makes that kind of a decision before the biggest game of the year, which happens to be at Pittsburgh, what does that tell you about the Cleveland Browns in 2019? Yeah. And, and by the way, if he's com complaining about the weather here, he played in Green Bay, and the weather in Pittsburgh is no different than it is in Well, Cleveland. that was his comment. One comment I did read from him where he said, you know, they asked him, is it true that you didn't want to practice in the cold? And he says, I played in Green Bay. That's nonsense or whatever. Okay, and they don't want to tell us exactly what it was. But clearly, it was bad enough where Kitchen said, and I, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm actually defending Kitchens yeah. here. He said, I'm not doing this for one guy. I'm doing this for the other 52, okay? Um, yeah, that doesn't sound like a guy just getting out of one practice. Right. What he's saying is, I can't let this slide. It was bad enough that the team has to see that I drew a line here. Well, how and then, I mean, what does that tell you about the priorities of the of these Browns? Yeah. Well, then he said to the media, well, go ask Demarius. That's always a bad, bad thing to do. Yeah, and, and I get, okay, Freddie, I wanted you to be hired as Browns coach. I look bad right now. I get that you want to keep things in-house. But once in a while, it's okay to lay out a player in public. He's, he's afraid, I'm sure, that he's going to be, you know, the other players are going, oh, look what he did to Demarius Randall. Well, you know what? If it's something as bad as what happened to force you to keep a guy home on the eve of the Pittsburgh game, 
then he's set himself up to be uh, filleted. You can go ahead and say, you know what? Normally I keep things in-house, but in this case, I'm not going to. The reason that I, I left uh, him home is because of this. Do you think he was testing Freddie? Oh, I'm, I mean, I can't say I'm sure of it because I'm not there and I don't know and I'm not inside of Demarius Randall's head, but it certainly feels like yeah. it. Certainly feels like a veteran was was testing uh, Freddie Kitchens to see how far Kitchens would go. And Kitchens said, "You know what? You crossed the line that I have to I have to suspend you in order to send a message." All right. In answer to your question of rewinding the team, I, I, as opposed to just getting rid of Freddie, I would take the whole ball of wax and put it back together and give it another try. Yeah, I mean, I know that sounds like, you know, a cop-out or whatever. I'm just wondering just, if that's what Dorsey's thinking. I'm because just tired of, of seeing new co coordinators, co you know, coordinators come in. They don't adapt to the new coach, the new uh, uh, coordinator. Um, I just don't think they're I, – Freddie has disappointed me terribly. But I don't want to change the whole the whole thing again well, yet. And, it's, and it's, it's also important to remember that, you know, John Dorsey – decided that Kitchens was his guy, okay? Yes. He could have gone with the the easy call, if you will, Mike McCarthy, even though questions about Dorsey and McCarthy have persisted. But And uh, I'm not sure McCarthy wanted to coach last this past year. That's true. Um, and now, all of a sudden, if you're John Dorsey, you see a guy like Ron Rivera, who has become available. He's right. cut loose by the Panthers. He has a tremendous amount of street cred. All right? So... And he's not the only one who might be available in the offseason. So, but here's here's what I'm guessing as of now. I'm I'm thinking that Dorsey wants to hit the reset button with this whole crew. And what I would hope he would do, in addition to the Haslam's, is at the end of the season, be, even if it's in the locker room after the final game, say you know what, or the next day, let's say when they all come back to the yeah. Berea facility, they get it. They get addressed by ownership and Dorsey. Say, look, this was unacceptable. This was a pile of trash. You guys embarrassed us. We're going to give you guys chances, most of you, because obviously there's going to be some roster turnover. We'll give you guys chances to redeem yourselves, but when you come through these doors next year, it's got to be different. You have to change, and, and that starts with you, Freddie. You, you said you got to be better. You said Rivera. Would you consider if he becomes available, Jason Garrett, University School grad? I mean, it would, have nothing to do with, it would have nothing to do with the local ties. Uh, Garrett is a a good coach, um, uh, or so we are led to believe. Right. He's had to deal with all that comes with being a Cowboys coach, so you wouldn't think that anything that comes with the Browns would be that difficult. I would think that Dorsey would pass on Garrett. Let's uh, take a look at what Odell Beckham has done so far for the Browns in uh, 2019. Targets, 103, 13th uh, rated in the NFL, 57 receptions, 805 yards, 67 yards a game, and two touchdowns on the season, ranking 94th. That's not, uh, not acceptable for him. Although he, yeah. got, he got a long pass that uh, he got tackled at the one. I, that should almost count for something. I'm not sure. Yeah, but right. then again, the Jets TD shouldn't count for yeah, anything. It evens um, out in the long run. 23rd in yards, though. I mean, he's going to get to 1,000 yards. It doesn't mean what it once did. When you're 23rd in the league in yards and you're Odell Beckham, there's a problem.